Thanks for taking the time out of your day to teach us about prosthetics. If you're missing, if you get a terrible accident, you're missing an arm and a leg, if we can get you fed and go to the bathroom, at least you're going to live. Mm -hmm. And then from there we can like start making it, I, I try making fun. It was cool how Zach took off his leg and we could see how that stuff so, works. By the way, it was crazy fun. You're not going to see a guy better at flying through the air on his dirt bike. And, uh... My favorite part was when Zach took off the prosthetic limb and said, rocks. Well, when I was 12, I lost my leg in a hunting accident. In the gym, we've been making my legs for the last, I don't know, six, seven, six, six seven, yeah, yeah. It's quite a while. Thanks for letting us pass around the prosthetic leg legs. Thanks for bringing Zach. That's actually the Fox Racing shop out there. And then it's got a carbon piece here, so it's like totally fat. Switch this on there when he wants to do nothing but run. It's not so comfortable to walk. In. But it's like I said, it's all carbon. It's the same stuff you're gonna see those guys who are running races on TV using. So the idea is this is going to like squish up and down, it's never going to get hot, and it's not going to break down and get worse. You know, like I have tennis shoes that is, like, when you first put them on, they're like so comfy. And then after a while, they just kind of like, they get flat. Thank you for coming to our class and teaching us about um, prosthetic legs. And thanks for bringing Zach. I have a gizmo on there so I can align it anywhere I want. So it, so the foot is where it belongs, right? You see, it's got a thing called a dome or a pyramid. And then the screws kind of push it all around different ways. Well, it's hard to walk on. Well, Zach will show you. What's a light walking on? Very balanced. <laughs> <laughs> For this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like our favorite part was when Zach took off his prosthetic limb. See, this is that suction thing. Yep. So he's got a valve in there to step down into it and pull it down. Yep, pull it. And then, like, show them how to walk around a little. Now they know what they're looking at. And then, you see how that ankle is moving like the other ankle. Yeah. yeah. It's surprising how little you needed to How much the ache you need. I thought that it was really rare for someone to have a fake leg. You taught me a lot. I remember when I, I was learning this, and I was like, boy, I want my ankle to do that, and like a in it and all that. <laughs> but you really don't need it. You have better balance, but you don't like to walk, like, um, down better, or down. On my, on my real leg? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got pretty good at hopping around on one foot. Yeah. But can you balance on this one? Oh, yeah. It's not as easy, but you can do sure. it. I can even jump around. <laughs> and we got to see, like, how it worked, and you took your time to answer our question. Final question for Zach. Does it rub and hurt? You know, sometimes it does, but not usually. I mean, if I, if I do a lot of running or if I'm out hiking around or camping or riding dirt bikes or something, it gets sore sometimes, but uh, just normal. Hi, we learned a lot from you. I like how the cushioning was crazy soft and the cool designs on the boots. It's a lot like this. Oh, so it pads it. Yeah, but feel inside too. And so it's grippy. Oh. So the idea is any rubbings can be out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than. Thanks for coming. My favorite part was when you put on the pad, put the padding on me. The harder you push on something, the longer we can make that arrow. We're going to say, like, this has a lot of force. Now, if we draw a little arrow and it's kind of short little tail, there's not much force there. What we try to do is the same forces that he's applying on the inside, we're applying outside. We like the part when you showed us how to make a prosthetic wig. Thanks for seeing us.
Alright, what I do is, I, I fit them with one of these liners, and, and there's like hundreds of styles of liners where we can make one custom. And then I'll take a cast over the top of the liner. I put marks on it, all these little bony prominences, and um, then I take all these measurements. What you gotta do is, I, I take this cast, I fill it up with plaster, and then, then they start, you know, well then I cut this off, so then I got this piece of plaster there that looks like that. So, what I can do with this stuff is, you should get fitted in here, you know, with the liner on and all that, and then I can kind of like look, and I can kind of like poke in a probe, and kind of see how it's moving around in there. Some things that we learned from you are how the feel and weight of some different parts are. I know you don't think about it. Pick up this, just kind of one foot, and I want to start paying attention to how it feels underneath that foot. There's actually a lot of weight on there. All of a sudden, there's like 70 pounds of force. Thank you for your time. Bye! You make the world a better place. I think your job's awesome.